Hello, uh, in this episode of Making Your Clock on SketchUp, I'm going to show you how to add the clock mechanism, which is a component. So we're going to be looking at components, scaling, everything to do with that. So <clears throat> what you need to do first is you need to go over to the right hand toolbar and you're going to click on these blocks here that says components. And then you're going to go up, it says search 3D warehouse. So you're just going to type the word Soamin and press enter. That's going to come up with all the kind of uh, components that we've made for you to use and all you need is the SOEM clock mechanism. So you're going to click on it and then it inserts the model. Look at that. Very quickly you've got the clock mechanism in the warehouse. Now if you've made your clock to scale, which I'm sure you have, you shouldn't need to do any scaling or moving about but it is quite tricky in getting the clock to go in the right place. So the first thing that I would do is probably move it to pretty much kind of in the middle or where it's going to go like that. And then the thing with components is you need to kind of move them plane by plane or kind of axes by axes. So we're going to spin it around and then you're just going to probably tilt it up and then I'm just going to click on it and slide it down. See the blue dotted line appears like that. So I've just slid it down the blue axes and then see where that looks like it is pretty good to be honest. So we just need to move it down a little bit more like that. And I would say that is pretty spot on. So for some of you, you'll struggle. So my advice, if we move over here, would be just to do it in axes at time. So I'm just going to slide it along the red axes like that, then let go, then click it again and slide it along the green axes like this. So it's just, it is practice. And then once it's in the middle, there we go. And we're just going to slide it a bit more like that. So it's not easy. It will come with practice, but that's pretty much how you get your clock mechanism into your clock like so.